No, no, you read that YouTube title correctly and this headline correctly. Saltburn director Emerald Fennel wants to turn Jurassic Park into erotic fiction. Yeah, yeah. This comes to us by J.B. Augustine over on the Bounding Into Comics website. Go ahead and check out over there. We've got the comments section back up and running. Take a look. Anyway, Jurassic Park isn't the first thing you would think of when it comes to X-rated or NC-17 grade movies. But one filmmaker sees potential in such a turn for a franchise that, to be fair, needs a shot of adrenaline. That's not the hormone that Emerald's talking about. Just letting you know. Jurassic World Dominion and its predecessor, Fallen Kingdom, left a lot to be desired. And in, if the series is to continue, new directions should be considered. And this is the face I make. I don't know about you, but this is the face I make when somebody tells me this is the direction we should be exploring with dinosaurs. You're right. Put your hand on it. Stop. 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 You remember with Man of Steel, Kevin Costner, don't do it? Yeah. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. However, they go on. The question is, however, would a more erotic take be the way to go? Emerald Fennel, director of dramas Saltburn and Promising Young Woman, thinks so. And she is eager to get in on the dinosaurs. Now, I, I have to say that slow because my brain does not think that that is what that says when I read that. I, a little too fast. The filmmaker told Deadline Jurassic Park is her favorite film. Therefore, she would be a crack at interpreting the mythos. I don't think you should be using the word crack in the kind of context that we're talking about dinosaurs. I, it's just me. Fennel went on to say this. Quote, but my favorite film of all time is Jurassic Park, so I would love to get in on the dinosaurs. I, I just really have to say that slow. Well, first and foremost, it's very erotic, Fennel continued. I think humans and dinosaurs have gotten to that stage in their time together where things are starting to get quite thrilling. Yeah, a human being said that out loud, like in the presence of a recording device. It's amazing. So, there's a marriage between a man and a velociraptor, and it's basically a domestic drama. The face you make when someone says they want to do a domestic drama movie about dinosaurs and humans living together as a married couple. What is it, married with eggs? Is that what it's going to be? Instead of married with children? Married with hatchlings? Anyway, she might be attempting to be hyperbolic or maybe sarcastic, but if Fennel is serious, there's a list of problems with her pitch. Yes, J.B. Augustine, you are 1,000% correct. There is, there's a list of problems. Number one, of course, and thank you very much for putting this at the top of the list because you are right. It implies bestiality, so that story would immediately garner controversy. Da -da 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 -da. Another C word, another C word. Condemnation, yes, condemnation would be what that would garner. Mm -hmm. The other issue is the logic. The raptors in the Jurassic series are unpredictable carnivores, which means they would wind up eating the human they had married. In the end, the story could never happen unless they introduce conceptualized dino-human hybrids. You remember? Those things that became the stuff of legend in the wake of the Jurassic World movie. Even then, the hybrids would require sentience, along with the complexities of identity and self-awareness that equate to basically being a human. Moreover, would anyone want to watch a film that explores all of that? I mean, dinosaurs go brrrr, right? That's it, right? Dinosaurs go brrrr. What else do we want them to do? Like, strap lasers to their heads. Wasn't that thing they did in the 80s? Wasn't that, like, on a bunch of, like, weren't there toys? It's just, like, clip-on laser helmets you put on the dinosaur toys from the dollar store? I don't know, man. You can read the rest of this article from J.B. Augustine over there on Bounding Into Comics. The link is down in the description. Feel free to check it out. In the meantime, hit like, subscribe, and if you want to, become a member. We'll see you in the next video, though. Oh, yeah. 
Um, if any of your friends are talking about this and not joking, it's probably time to clean out your friends list. Just some advice.